everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I'm playing with a supremely awesome stamp set. This guy is so cute. Um, we love pizza in our family, so I knew I had to get this stamp set. It's got some really cute and funny sayings, um, and it's just been a really, really fun set to play with. I'm gonna show you how I made this checkerboard background, and I'm also gonna show you how I colored the pizzas. All right, let's make our background, our checkerboard background first. I have cut a bunch of basic white and real red strips, uh, three quarter inch wide, and I just cut a piece, eight and a half, um, eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock into three quarter inch strips. I'm gonna start by putting a line of adhesive across my grid paper, and I am going to adhere my white strips all the way across okay um your grid paper is really helpful for things like this to keep them all straight as you go like that and you know depending on how wide you want to go we're going to use this to cut it out. And I'm actually gonna turn mine sideways. So I think, maybe I'll just do one more just to make sure I'm wide enough. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna take our red strips and we're gonna weave. And if you have never weaved before, you just go over and under, over and under, all the way down until you get to the end. Okay, and then push that up as high as you can. Now the next one, you're gonna go over and under, over and under, you're gonna do the opposite. All right, and then slide that one. And you're gonna do this, let's see, how many did we use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think if you did it at least with seven strips, you'll have plenty of, um, paper to work with to cut our little scallop circle. So I'm gonna to continue to weave and then we're gonna do something really kind of cool. Look at how far we've traveled Look at how much we've done Truth is one person can matter Look what ideas can become The journey to our destination Is what we remember today All right, once you have that all done, you're going to get a piece of basic white. And this piece is bigger than what I need, right? Now, if I was just going to cut this out like this, I, would, I wouldn't really even need to do as much as I did, but because I turned mine, mine needed to be a little bit bigger. So to make this easy, I'm going to take adhesive sheets and cover this quarter sheet of cardstock, this basic white piece with adhesive sheets, okay? Really, I don't even think we need to do all the way to the edge. All right, now, let me cut off that edge and I don't have my sticky scissors. Well, all right, well, I guess we're making our scissors. These scissors kind of sticky. Uh, I can clean them. Now, peel off this end or this backing part both of them and then take your piece and lay it down on here like that okay now lift that up and well i missed one but i think we're okay now just take your scissors and cut all those strips off That way it will fit in your cut and emboss machine. All right, and then we're gonna do like that, right? See how it's gonna be kind of crooked, kind of angled? All right, now before we bring over our cut and emboss machine, we're gonna do a little bit of embossing. 
All right, I've got a piece of basic black. I'm gonna rub my embossing buddy on it to remove all that static that might be there. And then we're gonna stamp the sentiment um, you've got a piece of my heart, pizza, pizza. <laughs> we're going to do that in verse mark. And then we're also going to do the little spoon and spatula. Okay. And then let's sprinkle it with our embossing powder and make sure you've got those any of that stray stuff that might have stuck, brush all of that off, and then grab your heat tool. And mine is right here. And hit it until it turns bright white. Let's move that, bring over our cut and emboss machine. Now, the scalloped rectangle that we're going to cut out is going to need to go through several layers of cardstock. So, I'm going to start it like this. And I have found that if I put things angled in my cut and emboss machine, they cut even better. So, I'm going to run it through like this twice. And then I'm going to look at it and see, has it cut all the way through? It might need one more pass, so I'm gonna turn it upside down and run it through again. And then let's look at it. Okay, and then we're just gonna peel that off. There you have it. Now, while we're here, Let's grab our stitched heart from the Give It A Whirl dies, and we're gonna cut that out with a heart. Now you can see it's not gonna fit perfectly, but that's okay. All right. Now, let's do our pizza. I have a stylus shaped circle here. It's a stitched basic white circle. All right, and I am gonna stamp my pizza twice in memento black. So I'm gonna do that one there. And then that one there. All right, now I color better when I sit down. So excuse me for a second while I pull up my chair. Let's start with the crust. I'm gonna use light, Daffodil Delight, and go around all of these little pieces. This is a supreme pizza, I think. It's got mushrooms, which I like. It's got olives, which I also like. It's got this leaf, which I'm assuming maybe, maybe is like a basil leaf, which mm, I would probably pick that off my pizza. <laughs> Um, and then I'm not sure what the rectangles are. Maybe onions or, um, I don't know. I don't know. What could those be? Ham, maybe? Pieces of ham. The toppings really are endless. I saw a chef on TV this week talking about a clam pizza that he loved and that did not really sound appealing to me, but he said it was delicious. So I'm going to trust him. I mean, you could put anything you want on your pizza. Clams if you want, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna get my light, real red. Color the pepperonis. And I'm going to get, I've got several greens here. Let's see, this is um, dark granny apple green. So we will color those leaves dark. And I think I just colored the other, the little rectangles, light green or maybe old olive. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Maybe it should be purple onions or red onions. All right. For the mushroom, I'm using our new pebbled path. 
kind of a brown grayish color. All right. For the crust, I have found that our ivory marker is really good for that. And then I decided to go around each pizza very lightly with a light pool party. Um, when you do that, you create kind of a um, shadow around your pizza and it kind of looks like it has dimension. So I'm just gonna stick real close to the edge, go around and add this blue line. You can also do this with smoky slate or crumb cake. It's a really co cool effect and you don't have to cut out your pieces and pop them up with dimensionals to create some dimension on your project. All right. See me a little bit more over here. All right, let's start putting this together. I have our, our red and white tablecloth and we'll put our pizza plate of pizza right here like that and then I decided to cut this apart so that we had three different parts of the sentiment so you can do this on your trimmer or you can just go for it like I do and just cut these apart so there's one and two and then I'm gonna cut the ends off of this one because it was a little bit shorter. And then we will use dimensionals on the back side. And I'm just gonna cut these skinny edges right here for that one. We'll use a big one for that. We gotta bring our heart over too. Put that there. And one last skinny one. Whoops, kinda of long. Oops, it's too long. Let's trim it. I should have my many dimensionals here, but they are not here. I stole them and used them somewhere else. All right, so now we're gonna take, you've got, kind of hanging off. Actually, let's put it up a little bit higher. You've got a pizza, my heart. Kind of down like that. And then we'll take the heart and put it right there. Let's move this a little bit, make it straight. Ah, if I don't destroy my paper. Well, now we have to cover up our boo-boo. Let's see. No, needs to go over right there. Okay, good enough. <laughs> now I'm using a paper, designer series paper that is, well, it did retire, but then it showed up again on the clearance rack. It's the all together designer series paper. One of my all time favorites. It's like $4 and 50 cents or something for the whole pack. So I have uh, grabbed several of those because I love them. They're so, um, so good. It has lots of black and white patterns. I take my real red ribbon and we're gonna tie a bow over here. And let's snip and snip. And let's straighten out, you know, if you're, if you're ribbon your bow is twisted just show it who's boss and twist that ribbon around tell it which direction to go you're the boss here not the ribbon and you just got to tell it what to do <laughs> that's what i say all right we're going to put it flat down on our card base right here and then we'll put this piece on with more dimensionals which have now disappeared. Here they are, I threw them to the back. One, two, and three. All right, now we gotta move this over to the edge a little bit, let's see. 
so we can get that over. And then we're gonna put that right there. And there is your cute pizza card. Let's look at it compared to the other one. They're a little bit different depending on which angle you do your background. All right, now make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. I've got the specifics for this project there, as well as three other projects that I posted the day be or the week before. So make sure you check all of them out for all the inspiration. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Bye-bye.